Machiato. Sorry, I messed that up. Hello, it's Bea Machiato, and we're doing um, a Yoko X listener. Um, because I remember someone suggested this a while back, and I just never got around to it, but yeah. Um, yeah, honestly, that's all. Um, I do want to put here quickly that they are rivals. I'll read the summary. It says, you have a rivalry with Yoko, yet the rivalry comes with heavy feelings. Feelings you both have for one another. So, just keep that in mind. If you guys want to read this yourself, the link is in the description, but if you want to read this with me, then let's get started. You and Yoko have a constant push-and-pull relationship. Scowls and rude remarks, yet something deeper that lulls you into each other. The tides that leave the ocean only running to go back. You don't exactly remember when Yoko and yours relationship was so dark. Yoko had always said some rude things, and so you spit some of them back. She's always the one that starts it, you just add on. Enid had asked you if you guys are, if you two were fighting and you just laughed at saying no and left. Yoko walks into a room, you leave. You walk into a room, Yoko leaves. It's kind of always been like that, but you want to say, stay, you don't want to go, Someone about something about her pulls you in, maybe it's her long dark hair, or maybe her perfect lipstick shade, perhaps it's the fact, perhaps it's the fact that she's so beautiful, but you thought it was crazy to think such other, th such thoughts, after all, you two absolutely despise each other, something about you to attract Yoko, like a moth drawn to light, but she never went to you. She stays away from you. She hates you. She hates your weird smile, your lame eyes and hair. She despises how your face crinkles in a certain way that fits your face perfectly when you laugh at someone's dumb jokes. Yet something inside of her wishes she, she was the one to make you laugh. Was that strange? She watches you with a glare as you talk with your friends across the quad. Enid sits behind her and sips on her drink. Why are you so effortlessly gorgeous? Something up, Yoko? Enid asks, making the vampire turn to her. No, not really. She says, glancing back at you. Looking at Wyan again, Enid says, with a hinting tone in her voice, Yoko scoffs, laughing before turning away. No way, I can't even look at their stupid face for more than a minute. She says, and Enid giggles. Are you sure? Yoko looks to you as you tuck a piece of hair behind your ear. Looking at some of the boys in front of you, Yoko tightens her grip on the straw she's watching closely. I'm sure, she says to Enid, eventually pulling her eyes from your form and back to Enid. Something about the way that you've been around different people rather than her lately has been putting her off. You're always around others, but hanging with Enid when she was, ar was around just to annoy her, or how you didn't leave instantly when she walked into a room because you're too focused on someone else to even notice her. Why was she so upset? She felt like she wanted all, her all your attention back on her all the time. Not some random boy. What about her? You didn't even reply to her snarky remarks with comebacks anymore. You just roll your eyes and go back to talking to whoever you were talking to. She hates you even more now. You can't just throw her away like she's some type of trash. You couldn't do that. Yet she had no reason to be so upset you two barely had a relationship built aside from snarky comments and sudden glares. But why didn't she? did she feel like this? She knew this feeling, but not over her dead body would she ever admit it. Enid notices Yoko's glare turning into shy glances and longing stares. She knew what was going on between the two of you before either of you did, and she's been waiting for a moment like this. You like Wan? Enid says quickly from behind Yoko, making the vampire quickly turn her head towards the other girl. What? She asks, supposed. Yep, I see it in your eyes when they aren't covered, she says, and Yoko scoffs, turning away. No, so don't, she says. Do too. Do not. Do too. Ugh, Enid, Yoko says, and Enid laughs. They like you too. Go ask. Yoko scoffs and walks off, not bothering to turn around or get her non-existent hopes up. You don't like her, and if you did, why were you hanging around other people so much? She walks down the halls, deep in thought, before someone bumps into her. Hey, watch it, she says, looking up only to be met with you. She looks at you and you look at her. Silence follows before she crosses her arms. What's up, Yoko? You ask, telling telling the people behind you to go without you. She scoffs. What's up? Really? She asks, and you look at her plainly. Well, what's up with your new gang? She says, and you look at her confused, something she finds absolutely adorable. Oh, they're my friends, obviously. You say, looking at her. Why? You question. She swallows. I don't know. They seem lame. You laugh. Thanks, you say. 
and stand in silence for a moment. Did should she say something? Why are you even mean to each other? Why are we even mean to each other, Yoko? You ask, and she looks at the floor. What do you mean? She asks. I don't know. I mean, we aren't really like friends, but we aren't really enemies. You say, fiddling with your shirt. I guess it's just you seem like to be really nice, and I don't want to be your enemy. You say she looks at you. That sucks. She says, and you roll your eyes. Suddenly, the air in the room is warm. Why are you even hanging out with your quote-unquote friends? She asks. And you make a confused face again. Well, I mean, they're my friends, so, you know. No, I mean, why are you not talking to me like we used to? She asks, and you look down. And I want to know. It's, I know it's not because you want to be my friend, she says, and you laugh a little, making her scoff. What are you, jealous? You ask teasingly, and her eyes snap up to you, pulling up her sunglasses. Jealous, please, she says. Are you? You question. No, of course not, she says, and you nod. Well, I am, you say, and she looks at you, but you are looking away. What? She speaks. Yeah, I'm jealous because I don't know. I don't want to be your enemy, but I also don't want to be your friend. You say, looking up directly in her eyes, sending a shiver down her spine. Was this supposed to be a confession? She doesn't know how to feel. She wants to learn, lean in and kiss you, but she also wants to laugh in your face. The urge to take control before her thoughts are sorted. The vampire's violent lips meet yours. Your eyes are wide. Is this real? You lean in, pressing your lips to hers, creating friction. She pulls away and you look at her. So, I think you got it. You say, I like you. She looks to you, pulling her sunglasses down. It's mutual, you idiot. She says, making you laugh again.